Okay, 39.3, the exercises. We'll start with number one. It says determine if the graph of this system that you're providing to you, if the lines never inter intersect, which means they're inconsistent, or intersect everywhere dependent or coincident, or intersect at a point independent. So inconsistent would be they never intersect. Something like this over here. So inconsistent, never intersect, or intersect everywhere. What, it, what does intersect everywhere means? The lines are identical. So one line, the other line would just go directly over it, and they would intersect everywhere, right? The other case you're talking about is what's called independent, where they intersect at one point, which means you have one line like this, and maybe another line like this over here, and they only intersect at one point, all right? They're common words that are used to describe systems of equations. Let me erase this over here. And I want to go through the method that I'd like you to try. The one thing I'd like you to do is just try to rewrite the problems individually as y equals, and I'll write this over here, y equals mx plus b, where m is indicating you know, the slope of the problem, how the line is changing over time, and b represents the y-intercept, all right? Let me erase this over here, and let's give it a shot. So the first line, I would rewrite as 4y equals minus 3x plus 16. Then I would divide through by 4, and you get y equals minus 3 quarters of an x plus 4. If I did the second line, what do you get? You would get 4y equals minus 3x minus 16, and if I would divide through by 4, what would you get? y equals minus 3 quarters of an x minus 4. All right, let me show you where this is written in your notes. This one's written over here, and this one's written over here. I want to point out, if you were to graph these lines, which we're not suggesting you do, what you'd notice about these lines over here, that they have negative slope, which means they're going down, all right, they're going down. And one, one would have a y-intercept around 4, and the other one would have a y-intercept at minus 4. But they have identical slopes, which means you're going to follow a path like this. Will they ever intersect? They'll never intersect. So these lines never intersect. All right, what does it mean to never intersect? We say they're inconsistent. All right, let's read the K. You should note that these two lines could never share a point in common. Hence, they are parallel lines and never intersect. The given equations are inconsistent. Again, they never intersect. And we shall always find that two inconsistent equations with two unknown numbers are represented by parallel graphs. Thank you.